language language n equal to 0 per 1 q as n value was greater than or equal to 1 0 per 2 q and so on now so if n is a context free language there exists an integer n so you need to take one n value so before this first assume that the given language is a context free language assume l is context free language fine now take one integer value n let n value be 4 such that for all z belongs to l so you need to take one string from this language and that string becomes your z value so take one z z equal to I am taking this string ok z belongs to L with mod z greater than or equal to n so what will be mod z for this so we have total string length is 8 8 is greater than or equal to n value 4 so condition true next there exists u v w x y which belongs to sigma star here sigma is nothing but an alphabet alphabet and we need to take only 0 as language contains 0 so 0 star so you can have any combinations of zeros and you need to take u v w x y from that combination so they should belong to this 0 combination 0 star such that z equal to u v w x y so now you need to divide the string into 5 parts ok so this z should be equal to u v w x y so divide the string into 5 parts string into 5 parts ok so divide this let it be u uh, v w then x and y ok or else you can take uh, this 2 as w x y you can take any combination after getting this, you need to check these conditions. So check mod v w x less than or equal to n. What is v? 0. Ok. w is 0 0. x is 0. Less than or equal to n value 4. 4 less than or equal to 4. Condition true. Next. Check this one. Mod v x greater than or equal to 1 so v value is 0 x value is 0 so 2 greater than or equal to 1 again condition true now you need to check that for, for all i greater than or equal to 0 your string should belongs to capital L then only that language will be context free language so check this condition what is u so u v power i w x power i y belongs to L or not. You must check this. So let us check this for i equal to 0. i value is taken as 0. So string obtained from this is 0, 0, 0, 0 and 0, 0. Ok. Now check whether this belongs to the derived language or not. So we have six zeros here but in this case we should contain this language should contain at least eight zeros. Single zero or eight zeros. There is no six zeros string in this language. As it does not belong to given language we prove contradiction because initially we assume that this given language is a context free language. As we prove contradiction we can say that L is not a context free language.